1 by 2 into 1 by 4 and so on up to 1 by 2 into 3, 1 by 4 into 7 and so on up to 20 terms. Now, there are doublets. I will write the question like this. 1 by 1 into 2, 1 by 1 into 4, 1 by 2 into 3, 1 by 4 into 7, 1 by 3 into 4, 1 by 7 into 10. Like that, if I take a doublet, total 20 terms are there. That means if I take two terms as a group, total there are 10 groups are there. So, 10th term, 2, 4, 6 or 8. So, 19th term will be 1 by 10 into 11. I hope it is clear. 10 into 11. Now, this will be, first numerical values will be 1, 4, 7, 10 and so on. So, A plus N minus 1 into D. So, D is Tn. So, Tn is nothing but 3n minus 2. 3n minus 2. So, if I require 10th term, 30 minus 2, 28. And so on up to 1 by 28 into 31. 1 by 28 into 31. Now, we have to be right. What is the last numerical value? Last numerical value is 31. Answer should be 31. Now, this is one series and this is another series. So, in this series, what is the last numerical value? 11. In this answer, it should be 31. Denominator should be divisible by 11 and 31. 11 and 31. 11 and 31. 341, 11, 31, sir. 310, it is not divisible by 11. 140, it is not divisible by 11. 308, divisible by only 11 but not by 31. Or if you want to do by the method 2, it is nothing but 1 minus 1 by 11 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 by 3 into 1, 1 minus 1 by 31. You can do it. These is nothing but 10 by 11 and these is nothing but 10 by 31. You can do LCM, feel happy in calculating it and find the answer. So, what is the answer for this question? Which is nothing but 420 by 341. I hope it is clear, right? Idea clear? Idea clear, right? Suppose 10 if I take common, 11 into 31. So, 31 plus 11, 442 into 10. You don't need to solve this. This is what I am trying to say to save your time. Last one numerical value is 11. Last one numerical value is 31. 11 and 31 answer should be divisible. Next one. Next question. See here. 1 by 1 into 4 into 7. 1 by 4 into 7 into 10 and so on. What is the concept that we discussed? N numerical values. N numerical values should be condensed to N minus 1 numerical values. N numerical values will be condensed to N minus 1 numerical values. Three numerical values are there. Write the first two numerical value and write the last two numerical value. 1 by, what is the common difference between consecutive terms? 3. Three numerical values will become 2. So, 1 by 3 into 2. Here you can take LCM. 1, 4, 16, 19. LCM is 16 into 19. These are nothing but 4 into 19 minus 1. You, you will do this calculation. I am saying don't do this calculation. This is where your smartness should come into picture. Three numerical values. What are the last two numerical values? 16 and 19. Answer denominator should be a multiple of 19 or a factor of 16 into 19 or the original number. Denominator should be divisible by 19. Denominator should be divisible by 19. 19. 1s are 19. 114. 3 not 4. <coughs> These are divisible. And this is also divisible. So, all the options are divisible. So, this is one method. Another method, what you can do is 25 by 608, this is nothing but 50 by 608. This is nothing but 46 by 608. That means, if I approximate it 
two options will go away because two options are closer to each other. Approximation. Approximation. 1 by 1 into 4 into 7 is 1 by 28 greater than 3 percentage. 1 by 280. 1 by 280 is just less than 1 percentage. So answer has to be just greater than 3 percentage. Answer has to be just greater than 3 percentage. Now if you see 25 by 50 by D is nothing but 1 by 608 is 1 percentage of 608 is 6. 6 eights are 40, 48. It is greater than 8 percentage. D is also greater than 7 percentage. D is nothing but 4 point some 6 fours are 24. Around 3 to 4 the value is getting oscillated. It is greater than 4. So two options you are able to eliminate because of this option saving approach. So these are nothing but 1 by 6 into 75 by 16 into 19. 325s are 3 twos are 25 by 608. 25 by 608. I hope it is clear, right? I hope so. Let greater than 3 percentage. 23 by 608 is just less than 4 percentage. The smaller values will come together and it is becoming just greater than 4 percentage. I hope you are able to eliminate. Again, I am repeating the key point. Method 2 is the best method. Most of the students know it. You can eliminate the answer options by looking at the last numerical value. Last numerical value in the denominator. In the denominator either it should be a factor of that number or it should be the original number. If the answer options are very far away from each other, use approximation approach. Next question. I hope this idea is clear. Now next question. 1 by 1 into 6 into 11, 11 into 16, 6 into 11 into 16 into 21 and so on up to. So answer is nothing but 4 numerical values are there. Write down the first 3 numerical values and write down the last 3 numerical values. Last 3 numerical values. 1 by difference is 5. 4 numerical values will become 3. Most of the students will find it a little complex in doing this calculation what right so what we'll do is now this is a nothing but a multiple of this number this is nothing but a multiple of this number otherwise i would have used the divisibility rule of this number 26 into 31 now see here 26 is a nothing but 2 into 13 into 31 so 13 what is a 13 any three digit number any three digit number written any three digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 13 so divisible by 13 13 13 all are coming so there is no option which can be eliminated even if i know the divisibility rule of 13 i will also discuss in my prime numbers class what is the divisibility rule of 31 41 71 and so on so the best way to solve it is you use the lcm of 1 into 6 into 11 and 21 into 26 into 31 concept. I hope it is clear. All the varieties of problems. When to use which concept. When the method will not work. When this method will work. When the problem will become calculative. When the problem will become calculative to the easiest most. All the varieties of questions I kept it in this class. Now next one. See here. 1 by 4 into 11 into 18. So direct answer is 3 numerical values are there. Write down the first two and write down the last two. 1 by difference is 7. 3 numerical values will become 2. This is one way to solve. 1 by 7 into 2. 1 by 4 into 11 minus 1 by 74 into 81. Now here one important concept which I want to discuss. Now, what we will do is, one anyway the calculation method you know it, calculation method you know it, 74 into 81, 81 is nothing but 9 square, <coughs> answer denominator should be divisible by 9, let me first check it, answer denominator should be divisible by 9, sum, denominator should be divisible by 9 means, sum of the digits should be divisible by 9. 
sum of the digits should be divisible by 9 should be divisible by 9 if it does not work i'll go to 6 plus 3 9 7 plus 2 9 6 plus 3 9 oh 7 plus 2 9 5 plus 4 9 2 plus 7 9 all the denominators are divisible by 9 next one 30 is 74 74 is a nothing but 2 into 37 reminder 1 10 cube by 37 is 1 10 cube by 37 is 1 10 cube is 1000 37 into 27 is 999 so reminder 1 so 10 cube divided by 37 is 1 now what i'll do is listen carefully sir so what is the answer which i got 4 into 11 minus 1 by 74 into 81 1 by 7 into 3 numerical values will become 10 74 is nothing but 2 into 30 10 cube divided by 37 is 1 let me take this value 263736 divided by 37 these are nothing but a reminder of 263 into 10 cube plus 736 divided by 37 263 plus 736 263 plus 736 999 999 so 999 is nothing but 37 27 sir that means for 81 it is a 9 square answer should be divisible by 9 if it is not working because there are three numerical values in the denominator you can go for the next one 74 these are divisible obviously these are nothing but a next multiple of 263 3, 7, 7, 3, 6. that means if you are struck with this you can go ahead and check with this here i wantedly gave the options where all options are same suppose one option is 263736 second option is 263737 you can use this concept i hope the concept is clear take a group of three digits and add it take a group of three digits and add it 10th one i hope the idea is clear